Hi, this is Les with another Power Up Training quick tip. Today, I'd like to discuss what are PowerPoint themes and templates? When do I use one versus the other? And as a bonus, we're going to cover how you can take both themes and templates and save them and share them to provide consistency across your work group or your whole organization. So let's power up. Okay, let's see it in action. Here's an existing presentation. We're gonna to go to a second slide and we'll see that a theme is just basically applying fonts and backgrounds. Themes are much more, but you've used them already. If you go to design, you're gonna see all the built-in Microsoft themes. As I drag my mouse across, you'll see that they are applying the changes to the colors and the fonts and the background, the margins, and much more. You're used to seeing these. What you may have not seen is the use of a customized theme. Let's go back into the same location where the themes are. We'll do the drop down list. And in there, there's a section called custom. You can see I have a variety of custom themes, including one that we built in a previous power up training video on how to create slide masters. That was themes. So what about templates? Templates are similar to themes, but they are more. They apply all the same colors and fonts, but you do this when creating a brand new slide deck. Themes are applied to existing slides and templates are used to create brand new presentations. Watch this. We'll do file, we'll do new. And in here, we're going to choose a custom template. And in here, I'm going to select one that I use to create my quick tip PowerPoint presentations. That looks good. We'll go ahead and create it. And what you're going to see here is that in addition to having all the colors and fonts, I actually have slides that I use over and over again. This is key in that templates have created that you can see a brand new name for a brand new set of slides, as opposed to themes that are just applying a look to an existing presentation. Okay, let's switch back to our original presentation of a few moments ago and talk about saving and reusing themes and templates. Themes, they're easy. But before we go much farther, I need to take a side trip in explaining the concept of slide masters. This is covered in a deeper dive session, but for the most part, all of our presentations and our designs are based off something called slide masters that affects all the underlying changes. We're going to go into view, we're going to go to slide master, and we're going to see that in this magical view, if I make a change on just this one parent slide, it's going to ripple through the rest of the presentation. Let's go in and change the background. I'm going to zip through changing the background and also choosing a new color theme. Do note that this is being done for demonstration purposes, not for artistic purposes. But once I have the changes, I can now get out of the slide master and boom, apply to the whole presentation. The point though, was for us to see how we could take a change theme and save it. I'm going to go back to design. I'll do the drop down list and there you're going to see save current theme. At this point here, we can give it a brand new name so that we'll be able to apply this new theme to all future presentations on this specific computer. Sure enough, when we go back to the drop down list, we'll see that our new theme is listed under custom. So what about templates? Templates are saved as a very specific file name, .potx. And if you want to use it on that specific computer, you can just save it in a very specific folder as we see here. So let's switch back to that presentation that we just created a few moments ago from a template. To be able to do this, I want to modify this specific presentation so that we can see the change. And just like themes, all of the colors, the fonts, the layouts, those are controlled by the master slides. But let's do something a little different. In this specific case, because templates include files in the presentation, let's create a brand new slide and in here make some modifications. So with this brand new slide, I'm going to insert a photo. It doesn't really matter what the photo is, but we're going to go online and put it in place. For those that are wondering, what is that strange greenness that are in my presentation? That's the green screen that I use to have my video of me show up as you saw at the beginning and you'll see at the end of the presentation. I'm going to choose a slide and I'm then going to resize it. Unlike themes that are saved easily under a menu choice, 
templates have to be saved as a file. So when we do file, save as, we're gonna go into the custom office templates and in here, the drop down list is gonna show us that we're saving this as a .potx file. And in this case here, we'll choose save. Great, let's test out our new template by going up to file and doing a new presentation. Now, remember when we do a new presentation, it should have the new slide that we added with the shell. So I'm gonna go to new, I'm gonna go to custom, under my templates, we'll see we have one that's called office example template that we just created. I'll say, yes, this is good. We'll choose a create. And when we do, we'll see bingo, that the extra slide is now included. So that's what's involved in saving a file as a template with a .potx. Sharing is pretty straightforward. Both of these, the themes and the templates, have file extensions of .txamx for themes and .potx for templates. Locate the files and then you can put them on a shared network drive or share them through other file means. Well, there you go. Now you know what the differences are between themes and templates, and you can start dreaming how to use them to make your everyday life easier. If you want other quick tips from us, be sure to subscribe to the Power Up Training video channel as we provide PowerPoint tips and detailed tutorials, such as our masterclass on how to become a power user in PowerPoint from step one to step six in under two and a half hours. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Likes encourages me to make more videos for you. And if you have a specific PowerPoint presentation video topic you'd like for me to cover, leave it in the comments below, and I will then look forward to seeing what I can do to help you. Until then, power up.